Hi, my name is Stormy Peters. Welcome to my weekly or not so weekly update. Um, hey, do me a favor. If you listen to this and you like it, uh, hit a thumbs up here. And if, if you have any comments for me, any questions, any feedback, anything I could do to make this more interesting or more useful um, to you, um, please let me know because I care about making it um, useful and interesting to you. So if you are um, listening, take a second afterwards and leave me a thumbs up and tell me what I can do better. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about, um, I had a lot of conversations this week with stakeholders. So I wanted to talk about who stakeholders are in this context. Um, so Red Hat invests a lot in open source software. Actually, since everything Red Hat does is open source software, I mean, you could say Red Hat invests a lot in open source software. Um, and my team is a team of community managers, um, and our full-time job is making sure that the communities that we work with are, are successful, that they're happy, healthy communities um, that are creating awesome products in open source software, um, or awesome projects, depending on your terminology. Um, and, and so one of the things that we do um, in order to make sure that um, we understand what the community is trying to do and that we are doing our best to help it be that that community or that project is that we identify who the key stakeholders are. Um, and the stakeholders may be um, the Red Hat folks making monetary decisions about the project. It could be um, community members, it might be board members on the different communities, um, but we identify all the stakeholders for a project. And then um, twice a year, twice a year for most of the projects, um, we run um, our project health um, evaluation and what we think their goals are, what we heard, and what our goals are to help them. Um, and so we do that a couple times a year. But in order to review the project health status, um, their goals and our goals, we have to know who they are. Um, so we identify who the project stakeholders are. Um, and I don't personally work with a single community. Um, people on my team work are each part of a community. Um, so every once in a while, I'll just reach out to some stakeholders, um, especially if we're making a hiring decision, like a new community manager, or um, if we're gonna change something up, or just to check in and see how they're doing. Um, everyone I talked to this week was super happy um, with their community manager, so that was really awesome feedback to get. Um, but it's interesting to talk to people about why they're investing in the communities they're investing in, um, whether it's their money or their time, um, and how we can help them be successful. And typically in a healthy community, community managers are focused on um, getting, um, and enabling the path for new contributors. So making sure that if someone approaches the project, it's easy for them to get started um, and to stay in the community. Um, but they'll focus on whatever's not working at the moment. That's a community manager's job. Um, so it might be infrastructure, it might be the fact there's a red map, it might be the mailing lists aren't working, um, might mean you need testing infrastructure, um, whatever it takes. So I met with some stakeholders this, this week, um, primarily from Project Atomic, but a few others as well. Um, speaking of community managers, I was really excited. And one of the goals that we have as community managers is to get more community at events and not have to travel around the world um, ourselves. I mean, sometimes we like traveling around the world, but you can't be everywhere at once and it gets a little exhausting. Um, so I was really proud that Josh Burkus got all of the European events uh, for Project Atomic covered by volunteers um, or Red Hat employees that have it, that are project mem community members. Um, and I think in most cases by people that live in Europe. So that's super awesome. Um, so let's save a lot of gas, a lot of airplane gas. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I also talked to someone, um, I think I was talking to Deborah Bryant about what it would be like to have um, community training for, for new engineers or developers um, who haven't been involved in open source software. So Red Hat, when you get hired at Red Hat, you get a whole two days of training, which is really awesome. Um, and you get a lot of introduction to open source. I think every presentation um, touched on open source in some way or another during my two-day training. And Michael Tiemann came in and gave a whole hour on open source software. Um, but we were thinking, what would it be like if there was actual training for someone who's been a software developer for a long time, um, but hasn't been involved in open source software, or perhaps has been involved in open source software in their free time, um, but hasn't represented an employer there, or hasn't represented Red Hat, and that's different than representing um, a company that, that may not live and breathe open source software as its core. Um, so it was an interesting idea. If anyone's interested in working on it with me, uh, let me know. Um, and then I had a Kids on Computers, non-Red Hat thing, I had a Kids on Computers meeting this week. 
Um, we had a lot of interesting discussion and we decided that we'd like to, to uh, move forward in working with an organization um, called, I can't say the name of the organization, I'm sorry, I didn't write it down in front of me, uh, Mimbabwe, I believe. Um, they work in Uganda, they're from Colorado, um, and they have schools they built there, um, and they're looking for help setting up computer labs, so we're exploring with them what they need from us and um, what we can provide and what it would take to get computers there, whether to take them or buy them. Um, and I've pretty much eaten up my five minutes. Um, I did do a lot more stuff, including a lot of finance stuff, which is at times interesting, times frustrating, um, but numbers are fun. Um, and that, that's probably enough, enough for this week. Um, so stakeholders, um, they're important. Know who your stakeholders are. And uh, traveling less is always good as long as everything gets covered. And Kids and Computers are moving forward with a new project. I will talk to you. This is Stormy Peters, and I will talk to you um, next week in my weekly, or not so weekly update, so maybe next week. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment and go click on the, the thumbs up sign below and leave me a comment about what you liked or what you wanted to know more about. Talk to you later.